Hey guys, what's up? It's Will with Latitude32, www.lat32.com, here with two fine people from Stella Star. How are you doing, guys? How you doing? Hi. Let's go down the line. You are? Sean. And I'm Amanda. And Amanda. Just like that. Welcome to San Diego, by the way. Are you excited to play tonight at our, which would be our CBGB is the Casbah? Yeah, we've been here before. I know you've been here yeah. before. It's been several years, but yeah. you've been here before. Yes, we have. We have. Yeah, probably three years ago, I think we were here, maybe. Sounds about right. I've been there, done that, have the t-shirt. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be worth something one day, right? One day. Soon, mind you. Um, so I guess we'll just cut to the chase. I mean, it's been four or five years since the new album, right? How's it been treating you so far? Uh, it's good. I mean, it's I th the other day, you know, we, uh, I mean, we just released our record a couple weeks ago. The other day, it felt like there were people singing all every single lyric of every new song on the record. We thought that was pretty quick for them to catch yeah, on. And I, I don't even know the lyrics yet. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that they're, they're singing them, you know. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. We well, should let them do the legwork tonight. Yeah, yeah. Let's let them come on and do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. Uh, covers are ready. That's nice. So yeah. it's an accomplishment. Um, so we did a review on the album. I don't know if you saw it. You probably didn't because we're that small. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> um, I have to say I do love the new album. It's fantastic but it's a bit different from the last one, you would say. It's not as, I don't want to say dark, it's a little poppy, it's a little mixed, and I heard we had some vocal issues during the process as well. But it seemed, overall, it was a really, really fun album to make, was it? Yeah, well, it was, the intention was to make a fun record. Yeah. Um, the intention was to, um, the, the second record is a, you know, it's it's larger sounding and and more atmospheric and darker, and the intention here was to step back, do a record that's more raw, and uh, yeah, more rock and roll and more sort of uplifting. Yeah, it's it's a fun album, so I can't wait to see it live here in a little bit, and and we get to hear your voice a little bit more, which is kind of neat. <laughs> well, is that a volunteer thing, or did they just have you in front of a microphone? Um, no, I like I like singing a lot, so on this album I tried to sing more. But it, I'm, it's pretty much about the same, I would say. Maybe, maybe a little it bit more. It seems a little more, you know. But I like it, because I love your voice. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so you're currently on tour, promoting it, and you say it's doing well. So you just came from, we were having a conversation, you just came from Austin? No. We, yeah, uh, uh, no, wait, yeah, Austin, Texas. <laughs> I don't even know where we are. Yeah. Where are we? We're, we're somewhere on the coast. That's all you need to yeah. know. <laughs> we're as far south as you can get before Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, where next? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, San Francisco, and then up the, the west, west coast. coast. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, I guess just back to the album. I mean, since, like I said, it's, it's, to me it's just drastically different. It's fun, it's poppy, it's rocky, it's straightforward it's, it's just a really good album I mean what was what's the studio process like for that I mean did you all just kind of tool around did you just well, we, throw stuff at each other and we worked with the same producer we worked with for the first album and so we all knew how he worked and he knew how we worked so it went you know pretty smoothly and he came in to do pre-production with us which is actually it was pretty extensive pre-production which we invited and uh then we went, recorded a couple blocks away from our rehearsal space, yeah. which was nice. Actually, and also recorded in our rehearsal space. Yeah. The first track on the record, Robot, was recorded in our rehearsal space. Yeah. Anything stand out during the process? Stand out as what? As in, I don't know, we, love to, we always poke for stories. So there's got to be a story out of this album, I know it. Well, the first track, Robot, was not written at the same time as the rest of them. It was written in the rehearsal space in a couple of days, and it was recorded like a couple of weeks later, and we threw it on the front of the record uh, at the last minute, which is also the same thing we did within the walls in the first record. That was the last song we wrote. We had recorded the record a year earlier, wrote that song, slapped it on the first as the first track on the record. So um, that was kind of... And that was also, again, like just recording a song in your rehearsal space and mixing it there and doing everything there was a new thing for us. We usually go to, you know, professional studios, but it came out sounding really nice. So, you know, it's. Uh, How long did you take to make this album? Was it an extensive process or did it go by pretty quick? Well, we like, I think we recorded it for a couple months last year, and then we, we just like, waited a few months 
afterwards to, to sit with it and to sort of figure out how we're going to release and what the logistics were with releasing ourselves on Blow to Wife Records. And then um, when we kind of sorted that stuff out, we recorded uh, some B-sides and, um, and added a couple tracks onto the record. So it was a couple months a year ago and then maybe just a few extra days uh, a couple months ago. Nice. Yeah, and I was about to say, next, it's, it's an accomplishment for you guys coming out on your own record label with Floated yeah. Life. So how's that been going so far? A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it's, a lot of, uh, it's been just like getting everything together, making sure we meet deadlines, knowing that this meet, this means this gets to happen and that gets to happen. And, well, you're, you know, you're working for yourself, so you got to do yeah. it. Yeah. It's good though. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's now, is this going to be uh, something purely for the band? Are you looking to expand and produce others and release others? Or is that kind of question marks right I mean, now? We haven't thought about it too much as far as other bands releasing other bands um, because A, um, we're just doing all the, we're just trying to figure out how to do it for ourselves yeah. right now. Never mind handle anything else. And, and B, it's just very new to us. It's a very new process. We just released our record a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, we don't know yet. Flying by right now. Yeah. One yeah. step at a time. Yeah, yeah. we're Get learning. the tour over with first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, honestly, I, I wish you guys all the success. So far, it's been great. We've missed you guys for the past several years. We really have. Is there anything out there? We like to call this segment the soapbox, where we kind of hand over the mic. Anything you want to say to the worldwide interweb and all of our yeah. adoring fans? Yeah. Um, mm. Never eat yellow snow. Don't, don't trust cats. I have a cat. Maybe. Yeah, I've never lived with one. I'm going to. I wouldn't agree with next that. Week. <laughs> I don't know them. That might be why yeah. I say that. Maybe they, maybe I'll fall in love and I'll ch it'll change my mind. They control your life, but you don't know they're controlling your life. So that's maybe that's, oh my God. <laughs> I feel so used. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your life is not about you. <laughs> it's about, it's oh. about your cat. Your cat. Your cat. Oh. Forget it. We're done. Thank you guys. Pleasure. Have a great show. We can't wait to check it out. Thank you. Everybody, still a star. And you can walk away now. That's about it.